Good morning. Uh, for those of you who may not know me, my name is Lieutenant Tony Tilly. That's T-O-N-Y-T-I-L-L-E-Y -L -L -E with the City of Anderson Police Department. The reason we're here today is because the City of Anderson Police Department is seeking information in the drive-by shooting of Randy Smith that occurred on Wednesday, March 30th, 2016, around 9 o'clock in the area of 701 East Whitner Street. The family of Randy Smith and Crime Stoppers has partnered together to offer a cash reward in the amount of $2,000 for arrest and conviction in the person or persons involved. And um, we wanted everybody to want thank you for being here today. And today we're going to hear from Chief Stewart. We're also going to hear from Sergeant Carla Roberson of our Criminal Investigations Division and also Miss Gloria Smith, Randy Smith's mom. So Chief Stewart, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, thank you and welcome this morning. Um, today we are here with the family, also our ministers. Uh, that are on our task force relations committee here in Anderson that showing their support and the emphasis again today is the investigation into the murder of Randy Smith um, today the two thousand dollar cash reward is offered I cannot stress enough that it is anonymous the tips are anonymous when you give them to us um, there will be uh, no need um, for the witness to be named um, we want you to call one triple eight crime SC um, we hopefully by the end of the day today that we can have a little bit of resolve. Um, I'm always optimistic that we're going to have these tips by the end of the day. And, you know, the ministers are here, the members of our task force committee are here, the families here today. Our investigator, um, Carla Roberson, has worked this case so diligently. We want some resolve in this case by the end of the day. I'm going to turn this over to uh, Sergeant Roberson right now, and she's going to give you some limited details on the facts of this case. We're not here to discuss the case today. We're here to announce this announcement for the cash reward. Thank you, Chief. Um, like, he, like the Chief said, on March 30th, uh, 2016, approximately 9 p.m. at 701 East Whitner Street, known as the East Side Store, um, at the corner of Dick Dickens and East Whitner, a uh, drive-by shooting occurred. Um, there, Randy Smith was shot and he later died at the hospital. And we are asking the community for the community's help. Um, we know that someone knows what's going on, um, may have seen or may have heard people talking about it. I don't know if the community is scared or they just don't care or just do, do not want to talk. But um, we have the family here who's asking for, for um, closure. And the police department would like to see closure as well. Again, the um, victim is Randy Smith, and this happened on March 30th, 2016, and this was just five months ago. Um, so if you know anything, we're asking you to come forward. Again, it's anonymous. There's a cash reward for this. Um, and we'll have uh, Miss Gloria Smith, which is Randy's mom, to um, speak. Hello. I just want to say that my son was a good son. He wasn't doing anything. He had just stopped there at that store to buy something and came out and was talking with his friend. And all of a sudden, a car just came by shooting. They just took, took the light from my family. I mean, he was my baby and I, I just miss him so. And I just wish the person that did this would just turn their self in because they know that they've taken a life. And we just, we just want to get closure. So, we just miss him so much. He left behind four children. His little son don't know what's going on because he was with his dad about every weekend. And our, our son is just missed. He was a good. He was a good man. We donated his organs, and he helped to save five people's lives. So our son is still living on. He's not here with us now, but he's he helped five people. So he was proud of that. So thank you. Thank everybody for coming. If you guys have, we'll take limited questions. If you guys have any questions, um, we'll take limited questions. Um, 
You know, um, like Miss Smith said, he was just coming out the store and had just gotten home from work. And um, when the drive-by occurred, he was just happened to be standing outside by his car when it happened. So there's no other. I know uh, back when it happened, there was a, a picture that was released of a possible car. Can you speak to that and whether that car was ever found or anything? Yes, um, the car th that was in question was a 2014 Chevy Cruze that um, was found to be had stolen like 19 hours prior to this. Um, the car was recovered in Greenville a um, couple of days later, um, but when it was recovered, it was nobody around it. So that's why we feel that somebody knows what's going on um, and knew what, what had taken place that night. So you still feel like that was the car that Definitely. Yes. Where did he work, and uh, what was any idea what the drive-by was about? Was somebody else being targeted, or was that part of something else? I'm unsure where he worked at. Um, I'm unsure where he worked. Um, yeah, because he he had been at IP for like two years, and he had just switched jobs. Uh, up in Pendleton, where they do the potting, the flowers and all that, um, but I can't, it was some kind of farm, I can't just, my mind has been so, ever since this happened, so I can't really remember the exact name of it, but I know it's in Pendleton and they work with flowers and soil and stuff like that, so. Yeah, Tell us a little bit more about your son, what was he like? Well, he was the light of our family. He was always smiling and, you know, he was just, he worked hard. He loved his kids. Uh, anytime he had free time, you know, he was spending with his kids. And, and I would always talk with him a lot on the phone and, you know, and it was just, just a cr close relationship with our son. And we just, we just don't. Um, almost been five months and it's just like it just happened and I just can't I just can't get no rest I just can't um, I just wish this person would just be man enough to turn itself in I mean just turn yourself in it just don't make no sense and his children just lost they having to have go to counseling I'm having to get counseling and he just done turned our lives upside down so it's just, it's just something, something we never thought would ever happen in a million years because he was there minding his business. So, but he was a good son, a good son, a good dad, a good brother, nephew, niece, I mean nephew and cousin and friend. He was just everybody. Everybody knew my son, and when he passed and had just started that job, didn't have no benefits, everybody came together and did a go pay me a go fund me page and took up money at the store where he was uh, shot to help get him buried. So everybody came together because he was a good person. Well, we didn't know for sure if he wanted to do it or not because we didn't have his wallet or his, uh, you know, his driver's license. But we just felt it was something he would want to do because he was that type of person that would, you know, that would just give. So we just, we just, you know, we just knew in our heart that he would want to donate his organs to help somebody else out. It's, you know, he was going on to be with the Lord, so he just decided to donate his organs and help, help somebody else to live. Are investigators speaking out now or, or coming to the public now because you feel there's something mm -hmm. that you're close to getting or is this out of you're not getting enough and you've really just... We're not getting enough. 
Um, and we just want to reach back out there to let the community know that we haven't forgotten about Randy Smith and want to let them know that the police department haven't forgotten about him. And we're still trying to work this case, but not only is it takes us to work it, it takes the community as well because we have witnesses. We have people that are talking about it, but they're not coming to us with it, with the information that we need. Um, again, you can remain anonymous. Um, and contact Crime Stoppers or contact myself, Sergeant Roberson, here at the police department, but you can remain anonymous um, because a cash reward is, is given for this and both Crime Stoppers and the family, you know, uh, partner together just so, you know, we could get the community to help us and that's what we're seeking right now is help from the community to come and um, help us bring closure for this family. No, sir. Uh, thanks for coming today. Uh, biggest topic today, again, like Sergeant Roberson just said, anonymous, um, one triple eight crime SC, where we're putting out the cell phone for Sergeant Roberson to call her today. We'd like to have some resolve by the end of the day, just one tip, that's all we need.